Well, more crazy. Um, it never seems to leave us. We always seem to find it. Uh, this time we're driving down the road and all of a sudden smoke starts billowing out from under our RV. Let's find out what's the matter. So we were driving down the interstate and all of a sudden Francis calls me and says, I think something's on fire on the camper. Smoke is billowing out from under your car. I look back and on the driver's side, sure enough, there's some smoke coming out. So I pull over onto the on-ramp. Luckily we were only about, gosh, 200 yards from an on-ramp. So I pulled over and there's smoke billowing out from underneath the tire. So I know immediately that I've got a bearing issue or a brake issue. Uh, and so luckily there's a big parking lot uh, of a, fireworks place I guess this is uh, that's sitting here so we're able to pull into it so I'm able to start taking the wheel off to try to figure out what's the matter with it problem is I can see the wheels already starting to come off so I don't think it's a brake issue I think it's a bearing issue and we may be into a bigger issue but I want to until I start tearing it apart let's see So we had a bearing come apart. Uh, the wheel had already come all the way apart by the time uh, I could get the wheel off. Uh, you can see the bearing is completely disintegrated and so the castle nut failed and so the whole thing came off and it burnt up my brake assembly um, which means that I've got to replace all of that. Good news is it doesn't look like it's the axle. Uh, hasn't messed up the axle so that could be a positive thing. The irony of it all is what would have prevented this is, uh, well, maybe, uh, is greasing the axles, which you're supposed to do once a year. And right there in that Amazon box sitting on the ground is everything to do that. I was going to do it this week. So I don't know if the water getting up onto the wheels during the flood accelerated it. Uh, not sure. So the good news is I got everything off and there's no damage to the axle, which would have been a much, much bigger deal. Um, the brake drum's completely destroyed. All of the bearings are completely destroyed and one of the washers is destroyed, which is unfortunate. It all happened really late in the day. So by the time we could get everything done, there was only like one parts place open that had um, both bearings I needed, but not the washer. So I couldn't put it back together to drive it. And the only trailer places are super far away, like an hour away, and they're all gonna be closed. So we're done for the day. Uh, luckily, one of them is open tomorrow, so we're gonna go and see if we can get the parts that we need tomorrow to get back on the road. It's not a big deal once I have the parts, it won't be but a quick fix, but we're done for tonight. So Francis and the kids uh, are going to go stay in a hotel that's just um, a couple of exits down, and I'm gonna stay here and babysit the camper as well as take one of the other wheels apart because I have to get a bearing number off because the bearing was completely destroyed on the other wheel and we can't even identify what bearing it is. So I've got to take another wheel apart to be able to get that part number so I can get the right parts for tomorrow. But hopefully this will be a less than 24 hour ordeal. Well, I'm just exhausted right now because we've just come off of a flood um that was very emotional straight into an entire 10 days of packing non-stop at our in-laws so we have been 
dry camping for like 20 something days. Um, we have uh, been packing and loading and working and uh, we're looking forward to heading back to see our girls this weekend and and now this so you know i'm i'm just really tired tonight i'm i'm <laughs> pretty discouraged um so we're gonna go find a safe place to be i hate jay saying here there is no power at all we are in a fireworks parking lot thankfully there was that because it's huge but um yeah so i hope it's safe and i hope he's safe tonight and um we're thankful that we are all okay um, but yeah, it just kind of feels like one thing after another and some days are just hard and today is a hard day, uh, for us to be separated tonight, but also to have to have the camper here and just the unknowns of how long the camper is going to be in a fireworks parking lot. Um, we just have to wait and see. So keep us in your prayers and, uh, we'll look forward to having a better day tomorrow. What are we doing now? We're going to our hotel room. Here we go. miss huh I know oh no we don't have any boys oh well we must have left them outside the camper in the fireworks store <laughs> well I've done all that I can do tonight uh, so everything's ready for tomorrow so hopefully it'll just be the quick part run we hope so when you're in a camper with no power in a parking lot the best you can do is just sit on the back of your truck with a nice drink and watch the sunset. and talked to Jay. He made it through the night. <laughs> we were a little safer than he was staying in a uh, fireworks parking lot all night, but with no power. But we enjoyed our little night here. We have a free breakfast from the Holiday Inn. So everybody is eating yogurt and pancakes and I don't know, sausage biscuits, all the things. So we're going to get that. We're going to go by and get dad breakfast and we're going to get on the road this morning. We're going to try to find the parts and get on to Marriott. All right, so great news. Uh, we had everything we needed at one place this morning. Uh, and this is a good um, axiom of life that I have learned. Always call more than one place. Uh, first place we called this morning, um, couldn't do anything. Second place could do everything, but they had like a six week backup on their service shop. So if I needed anything done, um, and they just were kind of helpful, kind of not. So I called one more place and found this place, Trailer Works, uh, and this guy was amazing. Just good, friendly guy, super knowledgeable, had everything I needed. He said, look, I'll even stay open later if you can't get here. Got here, um, they checked everything out. He even found uh, a couple of issues. Like I brought everything with me and he found an issue with my drum. Uh, and so I was able to get everything I needed, expertise, um, even saw something I didn't. And now we're going to be back on the road, hopefully really, really soon. All right, so we're back at the camper. Um, bad news is they my drum was messed up. Good news is when you buy a new drum, it comes with all of the bearings, races, grease, everything packed in. So now I don't have to rebuild it. I just have to slide it on. So this should be a pretty quick fix, and hopefully we'll be back on the road.
Okay, so we survived. Barely again. So no. That's the last <laughs> same way we started uh, the outro of our last video. Uh, we've got to stop having these crazy, crazy moments. Um, I guess we're just living up to our fan given name of Crazy Finds Us. Yeah. But seriously, um, even though this one wasn't um, as big of a deal, really, honestly, it felt like it because there were mm -hmm. so many crazy things. Um, I mean, honestly, if it had happened earlier in the day, it wouldn't have been a big deal at all. Right. Um, we could have got the parts that day in about, it, we drove about an hour to get the parts. It took me about an hour to get it undone and about an hour to get it redone. And so really, if it had happened that morning, we could have still made our campsite. But the fact that it all happened so much at the end of the day, it's just why things got really crazy. Uh, and then honestly, it was just super hard because we were just coming off of all the emotion and tiring yes. of the flood. And yes. then we had spent over a week at my parents yes. packing every single day yes. um, and had just all gotten day. on the road. And, you know, it was like we were driving to kind of a respite a week with the girls in one of our favorite campgrounds. And then all of a sudden this happens. And so, I mean, it was, I mean, honestly, that evening was, it was pretty emotionally rough. It was. And, you know, just seeing smoke pour out of the back of your vehicle or your camper is never a fun thing to see. Yeah. I literally thought everything was on fire. Um, but also, this was the first time we had had to kind of have our rig left somewhere else. Um, right. The last time it was the truck. And so it didn't feel as difficult because we had our home with us and right. we were able to have that towed over and uh, get settled. And it didn't really feel like a huge uh, shift. Um, but having to kind of leave Jay in this stranded parking lot, um, having us separated in a different place. Um, you know, sometimes that's just hard yeah. and it's hard to um, be stranded in places. And even though we were not that far from our hometown, um, it just feels very vulnerable sometimes um, to just to be scrambling at the end of the day and not know where you're going to sleep or not know um, what's going to happen or, or what you're going to do. And, and that's the difficult part of traveling and being nomadic is that you're not in your hometown where you can just call everybody to come and get you to pick you up to make it back to your house uh, this is your house this is your home and when that home is left <laughs> in a parking lot um, it, it just feels a little bit um, yeah. disconcerting and so um, though it was difficult um, it, it it brighted it, you know opened a new day and it was a, a, a good day where Jay was able to fix everything and so we just keep rolling that's, that's what right. you have that's to do. That's are new every morning and that's what happened I mean after a night of sleep and finding that we found a place to get all the parts like really that morning after everybody had eaten breakfast like it was just it was a better it was day. a much better day easy drive down to get the parts and back a quick fix and we were back on the road and back in our one of our favorite campgrounds that night so uh again um the you know the solution the irony of this is um this is something a maintenance thing you're supposed to do once a year anyway so when I got to the new campground, um, like I said in the video, I already had all of the stuff to do it. So I went ahead and re-greased, repacked all of the other axles. Uh, and I'm going to put up a video this week um, on Tuesday showing mm -hmm. how to do that. Um, and so if you haven't done that on yours, do it uh, so do you can it. avoid uh, this issue. So again, another crazy moment but some more of God's mercy and yes. we survive and it is still If we can help somebody else um, do encourage you that hard times right. are going to come. We went over a year without hardly any problems and this second year has started out with a bang, yeah. literally in many ways. And so, you know, you're going to have these hard times. It doesn't mean that your journey isn't right. It just means right. that your journey is your journey yeah. and it's going to have its ups and downs. So stick with it. And uh, we encourage you no matter what it is, sticks and bricks are on the yeah. road. Um, hard days are going to come, but it's important that you stick together with your crazy faith and your crazy family. And sometime very soon, that crazy fun will find you. Yeah, like we've said over and over again, hard doesn't mean wrong and easy doesn't mean right. Uh, and this is just part of life, part of doing it. And so you know, again, we wouldn't change it for anything, even with these moments. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we would love you to have you do that. You can find all of the crazy that finds us there <laughs> as well. Uh, and then you can also check out some of our other videos by clicking uh, the link right there. Uh, and until next time, we hope you go out and have some crazy fun with your crazy family. See you next time, guys. Bye.